Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Suzanne and Sarah YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne. And I'm Sarah. And today we are going to talk to you about May 2023 market stats for the Bend area. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Suzanne and Sarah YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne Moore. And I'm Sarah Willis. We are Central Oregon's investment and real estate experts. As I said, I'm Suzanne Moore. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Sunny Bend, Oregon with Realty One Group Discovery. And I'm also the founder of the Central Oregon Investor Network that brings together investors, not only from Central Oregon, but from all over the country to share resources, learn from one another and create more passive income in our lives through real estate investments. And I'm Sarah Willis, also a realtor here at Realty One Group Discovery in Bend. Suzanne Moore and I are a team here and we make these lifestyle and marketing market update videos for you every single week. Um, specifically, we're talking about Bend area market stats today, but we also make videos for new and seasoned investors alike. We have a great QR code up here up on the screen. Please screenshot or follow it right now. This is a great way to stay in touch with us. And in the event that you are looking for a home or a property to purchase here in the Bend, Oregon area, you are going to want to sign up for our weekly top picks where we scour the market and send you Bend's best deals straight to your inbox. So go ahead and note that. And before the video is over, we invite you to like and subscribe. All right, let's start off with median home price. And May 2023 was a doozy. The home price went up to $740,000. And that was a jump of $60,000 in one month. So up until now, our market has been pretty steady Eddie and May was just a little hockey stick. So that is up almost 9% in one month. So since April, that's a 9% price increase. And, you know, but it is still about even to last year. So the headline here is the crash is not happening in Central Oregon. There may be price reductions in other markets and other areas around the country, but that is not the case in Central Oregon at all. In fact, it is the opposite. All right. Something that we've been talking about for the past year is our change versus our peak. Our peak happened here in the Central Oregon area, March of last year. And if you've watched these videos, you probably know that by now. So again, as Suzanne mentioned before, since then, our market has been gradually declining and staying stable somewhat. Um, but, you know, in a gap of 12 months, um, from March of last year to you know where we are now, which is more than 12 months, we've only come down 3%. So that's not super bad if you if you look at the the big the big picture. Um, and then when we're looking at peak price, we are down $28,000, and that's that 3% from the 773,000 that we peaked at last March. The big question here is with the influx that we saw month over month, April to May, do we have a new peak coming? If we do, we'll let you know right here. <laughs> All right, price per square foot is generally correlated with increasing or decreasing median home prices. So we saw the uh, average price per square foot in Bend increase to $371 a square foot. That's $3 a square foot lower than this time last year, but $56 a square foot higher than 2021 and 68% higher than 2020. So certainly no crash happening here at all, even though we're slightly down in square foot, um, average square foot to last year. That last number is pretty mind blowing. Banana. <laughs> all right. Number of sales. We're just excited to talk to you about the market stats this month because they are unique from the past couple months since we're just seeing such a big influx in, the, in what we consider the right direction for our market and appreciation. So part of that is number of sales. So it's ticking up a little bit. Um, it may not seem like a lot, 157 over last month, which was around like 123. But um, that is like, that's like a solid 20% increase when you really look at it um, around that area. So it's nearly one third of the sales um, versus May 2022. And, you know, sellers are still holding on to those golden handcuffs. And what we mean by that is that they are feeling a little locked in to their interest rates um, and they don't want to leave it. So again, we're still at historical lows for number of sales and number of homes on the market 
under a certain price point. Um, and that is what's contributing to keeping our prices so solid. All right. Days on market is down again. So that means homes are going pending more quickly. Buyers have less time to think about it and sleep on it and make a decision. You got to start to act more quickly again. So we're down to seven days uh, and that's three days faster than last month. Uh, last May, the days on market was five days. So people really did not have much time to do any due diligence before they got under contract. And Central Oregon is a hot market once again. Yeah. And those, you know, the difference in three days may not seem like a lot, but again, when you put that in percentage perspective, you know, seven out of 10, that's, that's huge. So again, just something to consider. Yeah. Great point. All right. Cash sales. One of our favorite things to keep an eye on here, because we do work with a lot of investors and people who are looking to uh, rest their cash in different places. Uh, May of this year was the highest number of cash sales that we've seen since September of 2021. Guys, over 40% of all the single family homes in the Bend area were paid for with all cash. My mind is a little low by that. I yeah. And with a median home price of 740, that's a lot of cash. And it kind of makes us wonder if, you know, people are pulling money out of the banking system and parking it in real estate, which is considered a safe investment. Mm -hmm. All right. Going into the review, let's talk about this. We, we did this kind of review at the end of last year. So at the end of 2022, and we're almost at the middle of the month here. These are, we have January through May stats, but so far this year, May, 2023 was the best month for Bend sellers. They're getting the highest price for their homes and the costliest month for Bend buyers, meaning Bend buyers are paying more for homes in addition to also paying higher interest rates. So all those people that were waiting for the crash are now paying more for their house and more for their mortgage. So it doesn't pay to wait generally. Uh, this is the highest sales price month, highest number of sales that we've seen all year and the least days on market in all of 2023. So this indicates a strong seller's market once again, and multiple offers are happening. So just know that Central Oregon is happening. What's next? So we are all always just trying to read this crystal ball um, for us right up front, low inventory is equaling higher prices for buyers and cash sales are driving sales in Central Oregon. If you're up against a cash buyer, you maybe end up paying more in order to compete for that one house with someone who's offering cash. Um, we have five to six months supply of homes in the 1.6 million dollar range and higher. So if that is your price point, there is more room to negotiate at those higher price points right now because five to six months worth of supply means really it's technically a buyer's market at that price point. Um, three months supply is, is what's about an even market just for some perspective. Um, rates, interest rates again are always you know a huge contributor to prices um and that's really just putting a squeeze for buyers right now but where we are in the year right now with inflation cooling um i'm just really interested to see what's going to continue to happen with our market i mean if inflation really is cooling and interest rates are are going to potentially start to go down or just really remain the same i just think our market is going to continue to blow up the yep. competition will always be there. So again, this is not about timing the market. It's really just about buying when it's comfortable for you. And making sound investments. And that's what we do. We help you analyze an investment with current prices and interest rates. And if it's a good one, don't wait. So thank you all again for joining us for this month's edition of Ben Market Stats. I'm Suzanne Moore, Realtor with Realty One Group Discovery here in Bend, Oregon. And I'm Sarah Willis. Thank you again for joining us. Don't forget about that QR code and please like and subscribe. Thank you all for joining.